God bless and keep you. And may you rejoice in the gathering around God's word that we share. Let us come together in prayer. Lord, we thank you for times like this daily devotional in prayer. Lord, we thank you for times when we encounter each other in the world. Lord, we're thankful each time that you gather us in, in your Holy Spirit, with brothers and sisters throughout the world. And Lord, some we will never see in this life, but we look forward to the fellowship you promise in heaven. Lord, bless and keep and strengthen us as we look to your word now, as we are guided in that word and how we care and show your love to others that we might prayerfully be a blessing and an encouragement to them. And Lord, we ask your blessing upon your church, upon your people, uh, in all the work that they're trying to do and what they're about uh, this day in the, in, in the way that we reach out with, with a mindset of social justice and helping one another and helping with making sure there's, there's bread on another's table, that they're living in shelter and safety and warmth. And Lord, we, we pray upon those situations where peace is not known in a household, whether it's because of struggles within the home or troubles on the outside. Lord, we think of the world in its wars in this time and how the world is so focused on the danger and the fear of war. Lord, let us not be worshipers of, of that war or that fear, but Lord, engaged in bringing war to an end, that peace may abound, that love may be shown, even as we seek to serve this day. We offer this prayer in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In keeping these concerns of our hearts in mind, we turn today to the prophet Isaiah and the very concerning times that are presented here. Isaiah chapter 30, reading at verse 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. And part of our trouble is trying to get our justice ahead, or prioritize it over God's, that as much as we might depend on our own understanding, our, our, the decisions we're making about one another's lives and what is true and good and right, to prayerfully consider, to study, to pause and reflect, to look back over the guidance that God has offered through the ages. That is a real challenge that's before all of us. To be the kind of blessing of goodness that God calls us to be, to wait on the Lord causes us and brings us to a state of, of being gracious. And that, that, that graciousness is a spirit of forgiveness that we may offer love and peace each and every day. Hey, starting with today. And may God cause you to be a blessing in the love and grace you show. Amen.